Welcome back. I got to come up with a new intro. Hey, it's great to be back. <laughs> All right. Whew. I think that works. No one can overshare like the prince with red hair. <laughs> he embarrassed his family for fun. Now his tell-all's number one. It's true. Prince Harry's book has now become the fastest selling nonfiction book in the history of the UK, selling 400,000 copies on Tuesday. It's the only book to ever sell more copies on its first day than Harry Potter, which also was a work of fiction. <laughs> anyway, the book also reveals a whole bunch of weird crap. A text message fight between Meghan and Kate. How does a husband get that? And why does he care? Also, how Prince Charles used to do headstands in his underwear every day to alleviate injuries from polo, not polio. Polo. <laughs> Polo. Stupid. There, and then there was that time that Harry suffered frostbite on his penis from a trip to the North Pole. Hmm. You sure he didn't get that from Megan? <laughs> yeah. It's contagious frostbite. I think. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. The best part, Harry's book is titled Spare, which comes from Harry's claim that he was bred only to offer spare organs to Prince William. Oh. I know, although they're both out of luck generating hair plugs. <laughs> but it is an explosive claim that Harry was born to provide spare parts. You know, call me a fuddy-duddy, but I preferred way back when they created heirs the old-fashioned way, you know, by banging their cousins. Kat, you are a huge fan of royalty. <laughs> You've been following a few. What, what is Harry's last name? I have no idea. Is that funny? <laughs> I know no. everything about this guy now. I know they had a frost pit and penis, but I don't know his last name. Is it of? Yeah, that's because men love talking about their <laughs> Yes, that's true. <laughs> Even bad stories. Anytime they can fit that in there. What about? <laughs> Or anywhere. Yes. Yeah. That is, thank you. Yeah. We were all thinking it, and you said it. Yeah. Like I said. By the way, aren't you pissed off? I mean, isn't it? What husband? They pre printed actual texts between the two sisters in the book. What kind of person does that? Okay. I just, everybody's got to be really careful and not hang out with them ever. Yeah. Because, Can't trust them. No, but yeah, because especially because this was a tell all. Right. Which means they told it all, and now they're gonna need to tell more. Mm -hmm. So they're, <laughs> they're gonna need to find other people to get dirt from, and then that'll be in the next book. So if they invite you over, it's because they want to, you know, share your, oh, they, the one time this person came over and did this, and that'll be their next book. Exactly. So they better not have a single friend ever again, if you know what's good for you. No, so you can't trust this pair. No. You can't trust him, Bill. Um, do oh. you really think he believes that he was bred for spare parts? Mm. I mean, it's called. Sp I mean, so you say that he th he was going to provide what organs for yes, William? Yes, organs. If yeah, not the frigid. So, one. have you seen some of these party pics of Harry back in the day? I mean, did anybody check with William as to whether or not he was interested? <laughs> 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 but I'm going to do a double take. But I tell you, they wanted privacy, right? Yeah. Nothing says privacy like a 400-page memoir. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Nothing says privacy like let me tell you about. They are all about making the money. They're making the money. It was never about privacy. It's about the presidents. Mm. See what I did a little. Uh, yeah. yeah. Huh. Listen, I watched, oh. I watched the six-part documentary on Netflix. Shame on you. So you don't have to. Yeah. Shame on you. What did you learn? At 1.5 speed. I'm entirely self-indulgent. Yeah. yeah. But Netflix has a new feature. You're going to love it. You can watch movies faster than you ever could before. Ooh, you can wow. speed right through that sucker. And let me tell you, this is one you want to see. I think they call it the Campagno. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um... Okay, I... Sometimes, like, I, uh, this, when you work with a lot of white people, sometimes <laughs> you forget they don't have the, the sense that we have. Like, I know if a building's about to go down, I leave. I don't go to check to see what happened. Yeah. While you guys are like, hey, let's investigate. Y'all go right ahead. And <laughs> yeah. I leave. How can you not tell that he did not write this book? She wrote this book. Uh. <laughs> what, what man has saved text messages from his girl? That's so true. No. 
All he did, see that face? That was his face during the entire time. <laughs> while she told every dirty secret she could. Remember, your dad used to do handstands in his underwear, and then he was like, well, that was because he got hurt from polo. <laughs> It's in the book. <laughs> it's in the book. Yeah. Remember that time? You, the reason why you told me that you weren't that big is because you had frostbite? <laughs> that, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> it's in the book. Yeah. <laughs> your, your brother just was using it for spare parts, and no one had the ability in the room to say, that, that doesn't work quite like that <laughs> at all. Like, if he gets shot, they're going to run you over to the side. Like, they yeah. wouldn't let you outside. You'd been in a glass of, of fluid your entire life. Yeah. In case of injury, break glass, use arm. Like this, she wrote it. She's going to keep all the money. In about two, two and a half years, uh, very broken, broke guy is going to be calling dad going, hey, is it okay if I could click? Like he's done. Like do not read this book. This is her book with his face on it. Yeah, Dad, I, I didn't even consider it, but that makes sense. The text, everything. Rob, have you been following this as closely as I have? You said before the segment, I know nothing about royalty. <laughs> no, I've, I've been studying this issue for three or four minutes now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I've come to this conclusion about Prince Harry that an amazing <laughs> change history. Yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, there, this, <laughs> there, <laughs> This, this erotic pleasure, I shall no longer deny myself. <laughs> <laughs> never, never again. I... <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.